This P3 revision video is about uh, sustainable energy and primary and secondary energy sources. So the first thing to note is that um, this whole topic takes place in the in the context of the fact that the energy demands of the entire planet are increasing uh, all the time. And this graph just shows um, the energy demand by region. So the top line is the entire world, and then <clears throat> the, the continents basically along the bottom. And you can see that the, the line for the energy demand for the world is, is going up. Don't worry too much about the, um, the units on this axis. It doesn't really matter what the units are, but you can see the years along the bottom. And it's been going up steadily since the 1980s. <clears throat> and it's likely to keep increasing as well. And an interesting fact is a large part of that is, is in the Asia and Oceania um, region. And the main reason for that is that China, um, the China's demand for electricity has been increasing massively over the past few years. And it's, it's worth thinking about the reasons for that. I mean, China has an enormous population of about 1.4 billion people. And that means that if there is a change in the average energy demand per person, so if lifestyle changes and each person starts using a little bit more, that extra use gets multiplied by a huge factor. And um, because China has been coming increasingly industrialised, it used to be highly agricultural, even only a few decades ago, and that's um, that's changed a lot. And there's much more industrialisation. That means there's a huge increase in demand for energy. So if you look at the world increase, a large part of it, although North America and Europe still creeping up, and uh, Central and South America and Africa creeping up slowly, a large part of the increase has occurred in China, and those are the principal uh, reasons why. Um, unfortunately, uh, because coal is quite cheap, um, a large part of this extra demand is being um, filled by coal power stations, and that's increasing carbon dioxide emissions. So we're going to look a little bit at, at the, the different ways of generating electricity very briefly. We're not going to look in detail at the advantages and disadvantages. That will come in a later video. But we're going to particularly look at what we mean by primary and secondary energy sources and some other key words associated with energy sources as well. So what is a primary energy source? Well... A primary energy source is one that exists in nature. So some examples of these here, I'm not going to read them all out. Uh, a lot of these probably will be familiar. They tend to crop up um, all through school. And um, we can put them into various groups, and it's kind of instructive to do that and talk about what the, the names of the groups mean. So the first grouping I'm going to show you is this one. Um, you might want to think about what, what that grouping is. Um, and what we've got here is the renewables and the non-renewables. We need to be clear about what those words mean. Renewable resources will not run out. They can last indefinitely. I mean, obviously, they'll run out eventually, but we're talking billions of years down the line. Okay, So effectively, that's forever as far as we're concerned. And the, the non-renewable resources will run out. And although they keep finding more coal, oil, gas, uh, nuclear fuel, there is definitely a limited supply. And it, yes, it can be replaced, but because... Fossil fuel formation takes millions of years. Because nuclear fuel was formed um, in um, the supernova explosion that helped form our solar system, it can't possibly be replaced in, in a short time scale. So it will run out and we can't replace it. Um, there are other ways to group these as well. Um, so swapping nuclear and biofuel, what, does, what are the groupings now? Well... We're now grouped into does give out CO2 when um, it's uh, used and doesn't. So coal, oil, gas, the fossil fuels give out carbon dioxide when burned. Biofuel as well, because it's carbon-based, because it's alive, uh, when it burns it will give out carbon dioxide. Nuclear fuel, although it is non-renewable, doesn't give out carbon dioxide. So that little subtle distinction is often one that gets missed and people think you know renewable means doesn't give out carbon dioxide it's not true there is a slight difference in the grouping there so useful to try and remember that okay so um just a little bit about sustainability and the whole module is about sustainability so we better be sure we know what it means um and so if an energy source is being used sustainably you can use it indefinitely and um, you won't cause permanent or serious damage to the environment. There are many different definitions of sustainability around. That one's one that, to me, fits quite nicely with um, with the module. So just look, let's look at three examples then. So if we're talking about fossil fuels, when we burn fossil fuels, that releases carbon dioxide. It's fairly well established now that that will lead to global warming and, and climate change. 
So that's obviously a non-sustainable way for two reasons. Um, firstly, we know we've already said the fossil fuels are run out, so that, that that's not sustainable because we can't keep using them forever. And also, um, it's going to cause damage to the environment. So that's another reason why we couldn't keep doing it. Eventually, the environmental consequences would be possibly too severe and, and, um, and we couldn't keep going. So that's a fairly obvious non-sustainable one. Perhaps less obviously, sometimes um, renewable resources can be used in a non-sustainable way as well. The most obvious example is biofuel. So if we take trees as an example of biofuel, um, when we burn them, they release carbon dioxide, which again can lead to global warming and climate change. So it looks very similar to the fossil fuels one. And the point is, if all we do is chop down the trees and burn them, then it is very similar to the fossil fuel one. There's no real difference. We're using that renewable resource in an unsustainable way. But if we change the way we use it, so we take those, those trees and use it as biofuel, yes, it releases carbon dioxide, but if we replant the trees then those trees will absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere because they are uh, and, and, and lock it into um, sugars because they're doing photosynthesis. So if you replant trees and you and you don't chop down all the trees at once and you, you have a sustainable approach to it, then that will be um, you possible to do that into the future without serious damage to the environment, okay? Because that carbon dioxide comes back out of the atmosphere and so it won't therefore go on to cause global warming or climate change, at least on a reasonably short time scale um, uh, along the lines of how long it takes to grow a tree so we're talking tens of years rather than uh, millions of years in the case of trying to get um, carbon locked back up in fossil fuels again so that's just some some ideas about uh, sustainability renewable resources and and how the things are related to each other so that's primary resources and well why are we doing all this stuff well why are we burning fossil fuels why are we why are we burning biofuels why are we using wave hydroelectric well we're after a secondary energy source i'm going to talk about why we're after this secondary energy source in in, in a later video um but the, the main secondary energy source that we're after is electricity so a secondary source is one that has to be generated from a primary source so there's our secondary source electricity because it's definitely generated from primary sources. And there are all our primary sources, and we can generate electricity from all of these in various different ways. And as I said, we're going to examine in detail uh, the advantages and disadvantages of these in, in a later video. This is really just talking about classifying them and realising that what we're doing is taking our primary energy source and generating our secondary energy source from it. So that's the key points of primary and secondary energy sources covered. Um... Just um, a quick question, if you pause the video and then try and fill in this table with, with I haven't used all the sources, but a representative sample of the sources, are they primary or secondary, are they renewable or non-renewable, uh, do they emit carbon dioxide when we use them to generate electricity? So pause, have a go at that, and then we'll go through the answers in a second. Okay, so I'm just going to fill all the answers in at once, and I'll just talk about some of the common misconceptions. So, um, well, the, the primary secondary column should be easy, because electricity is the only secondary source we've mentioned. So all the others are primary, they're found in nature. Electricity is generated from those primary sources, so it's a secondary source. The renewable, non-renewable. Um, the interesting one here is the electricity. You can't really put anything for the electricity, because... Renewable and non-renewable really only refers to the primary sources. And electricity, I guess you could say it's renewable and non-renewable, depending on which primary source we've used to generate it. So we, we can't make a definite ruling. It depends on how we've got the electricity. And again, same with the carbon dioxide emission. We don't know. It depends which primary source we use to generate it. So it's only really sensible to ask the not renewable, non-renewable, and carbon dioxide emission question for the primary sources. As we go down, well, coal, gas, nuclear, and oil, all non-renewable because they run out. Biofuel and wave are our examples of, of renewable there. Of course, there are lots of others. And then the emits carbon dioxide column, well, all the fossil fuels, coal, gas, oil, yes, and biofuel, yes. I've put the star on the biofuel because, we've, we, as we've already mentioned, you can reabsorb the carbon dioxide um, by replanting. So that one is slightly different. Worth noting that if you get any question. Okay, thanks for watching.